bro. Can I say something blasphemous? And this is an unpopular opinion. I don't think Snoop Dogg's that good. At rapping? Yeah. Why do you think you can only see three? Because they have the ones testifying against these mates. No way! Do you understand how insane it must be to just be chilling here right now and everything starts uncontrollably shaking? That's the one time my picnic can look at me and say, Dad, what did we do? And I'll look at them and say, I, I don't know. Have a, I don't know. No. Um, before I even talk about this, yeah, do you know what? Um, quickly on 50, 20 years since Get Rich, Die, twi die, die Trying, you know? Saw 20 whole years, bro. 20 whole... In the club is 20 years old, bruv. I want him to do a documentary on 50 Cent one day, because to me, one of the most intelligent Go men, to the 50s. Go to Get Rich, Die Trying quickly. Look at that. He's, on. to it's me, one Spotify. of the most intelligent and most... Principal led rappers, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah. terms of not shared principles, he has his own principles, and I still recognize 50 Cent today the same way I did 20 years ago. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a level of consistency that I fully respect. And there'll be some parts where I'll go, maybe he shouldn't have done that, but there are some parts yeah, where yeah, I go, yeah, 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 yeah. this is just absolute genius. 50 cent like we he, don't he's very much if i love you i love you if i don't then i don't and it's fuck everything but and why that's that but shouldn't that just be the way life is um sometimes there's nuances Fair <laughs> but enough. for him for him there isn't any and I, uh, yeah, and, just, and and it works for him it works bro but you see when get rich or die trying came out yeah Oof. you know i i actually don't i don't know if there was ever a rapper that was like even up till now that was as Flipping, scorching hot, bro. Fifty was scorching hot, bro. It's their mixtapes, bro, and it's how unapologetic he was. The Fam. reason why I really wanted to get this album is because of um, how to rob. How to rob? Like, how I was to like, rob. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, yeah. the hell? Yeah. You can't just mention how you would rob all of these people. Have have keep sweating down the have keep sweating by looking at the barrel of my nine. Like he was just on everyone. Yeah, keep yeah. sweat. Like why the fuck are you on keep sweat? But yeah, yeah. that yeah, definitely. He was on making noise, innit? He wanted everyone to know who he was. Yeah, cause man knew who he was, where he was from. But mm. like, he was definitely on it. Like Fifty was clearly a serious brother. Like he wasn't a don that you know. Certain man came from a certain ends, and you might have done your little thing in the end. People know you or whatever it may be. But like the full smoke, it wasn't really you. But he was the full smoke guy that could actually really rap. Like, and and at this time, like when it was time, and also when you look at the fact that like Get Rich or Die Trying, that album from front to back, yeah, there's not really no skips on this thing, you know? It was like a flipping, a massive, scorching hot moment. And, you know, that whole situation that he had with Ja Rule, remember Ja Rule before that was flames in hot too. Hot, bro. Like he was flames in hot. Um, I always re remember listening to an interview that Irv Gotti did, yeah? yeah? When Irv Gotti was talking about all of that and he was like, oh, there was on this fire, this thing of like, well, fuck 50 and that anyway. Until one day, they said that they were, um, was it, they was on a tour bus or something like that and they was listening to Hot 97. He said, um, Funk Flex was on the radio doing the bombs. I got the new 50. I got the new 50. Bomb, 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 bomb. Then you just heard the beginning part of In The Club. As soon as that started dropping, he said, I've got, he said, oh, shit. Yeah, Jay-Z said the same thing. Jay-Z said... He said, we've got a massive problem. Yeah, he said, Jay-Z said to his boys, there's an interview where Jay-Z goes like, look, we got to get this right. Because 50 coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. one thing I like about 50, he don't need no one. Obviously, he needs people, but like, a lot of people rely on a hell of a lot of individuals in their campaign for them to do what they got to do. I'm sure he would have had things in and around it, but... Cause my man was with Lloyd Banks. All he drops anyone out that's on some bullshit. It was that one. You're right. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, it was with Funk Flex in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, cause it. No, nah, cause I, I don't know which part it was in in this long. And it's. Go on, click on it. Let me see. Nah, that's not it. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry it's about it. It's not an issue. No, man. But, but 50 Cent is, is yeah. uh, 50 was like, legend. he was flipping so scorching hot. Yeah, that like, it was mad. mad Best song mad, on the mad, album big, for you. Massive, huh? Best song on the album for you that you still listen to now. Best song on the album for me. Go to the album again, please. 
Um, or top three songs you listen to. So listen, firstly, you can't go, you cannot go far yeah. without playing um, Many Men. That's probably the best no song way. album. Like that there is like, for me, it's, it's past everything. Even though In The Club was like, and still is commercially just massive and did so much for him, yeah? Many Men is the most, one of the most waviest, gangsterist rap songs I've ever heard, bro. Bro, the rhythm is mad. Wish play it quickly, man, actually. Just play it. We'll, we'll mute it, but it's cool. Butter, this thing is, and even in the dance now. Today, bro, it's a legendary rap tune. Real saw, yard man. Cool. Go on, do that. Did you see um, staying with fifty? Did you see the is it the Hot One Hundred or? Oh no, that's that list of top ten rappers. No, just hit me. Fifty went in there as well. Fifty wasn't in there. I don't think fifty. 50 I don't think so. Uh, what were, uh, what, what were they? What were they based? What were they basing it upon? Do you know? Nah, I can't remember. It was just a list. But who was the list by again? Kanye West. All right, let's read some of is, these. All right, right. let's go. All right, let's so yeah, wait, go to the top. Go let's to the go top. Down. Fifty. Number 50 or number one? Go to number 20. One. No, go from 20 up. Go from 20. 20 down. 20 down, yeah. So from 20, 20 down. down. Yeah, okay, cool. So, 20 oh, down. God, DMX is 21. DMX right. is 21, that's nuts. Big Daddy Kane. Right. It's 20. I listen to him, so I don't know. Missy, Missy Elliott. Elliot. It's 19. I, that, Missy, that, that's... Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. Missy Elliott called this, but I don't, she doesn't make top 20 rappers. Of in front all, of DMX? Of all times. <laughs> How could Missy Elliott be no in front way. of DMX? Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. That's mad, bro. As an artist, she's fucking done a, like, she, she produces, she's done, put some cold albums together, but as, nah, nah, nah. She was a rapper. Cube, Ice Cube 18. Huh? Nah, 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 nah. No. We ain't got time for that. Um, Ice Cube 18. Can't be in front of DMX. Um, 50 is what? 17. Go on, keep going. Uh, Scarface, 16. He's always, like, highly regarded. Respected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, for most, like, super rap fans, Scarface would probably make top five. Um, J. Cole, 15. That's mad to me. Um, LL Cool J, 14. He got a hella respect the other day. Um, Rakim, um, 13. He's another one. Full highly, of respect. Highly respected. Um, Andre, 3000. Like, respected. rapping. Oh, my God. He's incredible. Incredible, bro. Um, Kanye West. If we're just talking about rapping, he's not incredible. No, I mean he's but he's, he's but he's incredible. He's a visionary. Rappers of all time, but you look at what he's actually done musically, and you're like, and he's rapping. That's you, the thing. Yeah. You, you have to you have to add that. You've got to say, okay, if you give if I'm giving you the microphone, mm. and I have a microphone, what is our ability saying? But if we're looking at like what they've actually done, mm. and you're putting that in the pot, Kanye's obviously in there because look what he's done. With using the art form of rapping. It's Do you ridiculous. get what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. The way he's interpreted it. It's impossible to be unbiased in this though. No matter who does it. Well, okay. This, is, is, where, this is where I could be unbiased. If we're just talking about just the skill of rapping and nothing else. I can be unbiased. I could be unbiased. And I could easily say, I could make it up. Right now in this list, I'm saying there's no way that Kendrick is above Biggie for me. But what I will tell you is this though. If you give just one man a microphone, just what, and you take away the names and you take away everything and you look at just the skill of it, <laughs> Kendrick is through the roof with just the skill. Through the roof. In terms of flows, arrangements, uh, but he's even like coming off the beat and jumping on the beat. Bro, he's and it's, doing a it's, madness Kendrick with it. Kendrick at rapping is, but that's why I feel about Biggie's J. Cole. Biggie's my preferred. He's my preferred. But... Like, if you're just talking about, forget the names, forget everything, both alive, here's a microphone, here's a beat, like, and here's a, ver here's a varied amount of beats. Right. 
Not just one, not just a 90 BPM. Here's a 120, here's a 140, here's a... But they have to be rap songs though, because you know what it is. I hear where you're coming from, but you see the BPM. Sometimes they go into genres that are, it's not fair. Like, it's just not fair. The success you'll have of that song will be far greater than, like, for example, Nicki Minaj number 10. Like, super bass, space shit, all of this nonsense. You can rap on it can I say as much as she wants, though? bro, but what the hell, bro? Can I say something blasphemous? And this is an unpopular opinion. I don't think Snoop Dogg's that good. At rapping? Yeah. I, I really like Snoop. I he's really, one of my favorite rappers. I really time. like Snoop. I don't think that Snoop is that good at rapping. I think... I think he's I know that some people are just... I know a lot of people are not going to agree with this. But I think <laughs> that he like... He is a rapper who just says words a lot of the time. I think now... I, I think now you're looking at Snoop Dogg in his latter stages of career. I think if you take a look at early Snoop Dogg... I have to add it. Huh? I've got to add it. I've got to add that. From from when do you feel if like he, this? If he if he died like early on, we'd look at him like Biggie. We would. Nah, bro, Snoop Dogg has done too much. Snoop I mean, we music. still look at him like Biggie. To be fair, like Snoop Dogg is an absolute fucking. He's goated to bits, Completely, and we love him. Bro. We respect him. But rapping, I think I think Snoop Dogg's. I'm not going as far as good. The problem is, yeah, you see rap, yeah, like the people that can't compete. With, New York rappers, you can't really compete with them. For me, like a lot of New okay. York rappers are the guys that are yeah. the guys to me, like Benny the Butcher now, Conway the Machine, that like them yeah, man yeah, can yeah. rap their ass off, off, yeah? So because that's where I set the bar for rapping, yeah? After mm. that, I take a look at the best interpretations off the back of that. LA is another place where people can rap. They can rap, bro. And I'm just saying they've got more varied styles over there. In New York, it's just like rap, 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 rap. When you get to LA, you could have Kendrick, but you could have Snoop. And I think I like... Or Snoop is more Long Beach, but I like Snoop's interpretation of rap because no one can do it. Shoot me now. No one can do it. Shoot me now. Nicki Minaj is a better rapper than Snoop. Raps better than Snoop. I just so disagree with you. Nicki Minaj raps better. Does she, does she make better? Does my point is, does she make about New York? So my point about New York. She's for, right. It's make New it, York rappers just have this whole like for me. Nah, man. For me, but does she make better music? Of course not. Not no, even nearly. Need. You, I wouldn't even like. That's not even nearly an argument. That's not even nearly an argument. I hear what you're saying. If we'd done a sci-fi, I'd be more interested in what um, Nikki has to say. Hundred million. But that's today, though. But but Snoop's a big man. No, like... but even back then, take oh look, okay. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I'm we biased. can do that. I'll tell you why. Biased. I'll tell you why. No, hear what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take a sci-fi and put Biggie and Nikki. I'm still going for Biggie. In of a course. Sci-fi. Of and course. And Biggie is back then. So for me, even if you take Snoop back then, no, but you're taking take, take... no. Don't do that. Because you're saying oh, oh no, you. I'm taking. No, I'm taking Snoop early Snoop. Taking early Snoop. In a cipher with Nicki now. Nicki yams food, but she doesn't yam food with Biggie. But some rappers are not. She don't yam food with All Biggie. All right, so some rappers are not bar rappers. That's what I'm saying. New York is built upon on a street corner just spitting. Like, not everyone's like that. There's different interpretations of rap, and some rappers are just so sick when they make music, and they're yes, not as yeah, good yeah. outside of music. Right, Do you know right, what I'm coming right. from? And I just think, personally, if you can't make music as a rapper, that doesn't make you like a, not a bad rapper. But you can't enter top 10. And my thing is with Nicki Minaj, I can't think of 10 Nicki Minaj songs that I will love because of rap. But I can think of 10 Nicki Minaj songs that I don't mind listening to. Yeah, but I Does that make sense? Nicki so then I'm like, how are you Nicki even would top not 10? make nowhere near my top 10 it's list. It's ridiculous. I mean, my, more my rapper list. But she can rap. Yes, definitely. She can She'd rap. be probably somewhere in the 50, like in the top 50, but there's no way near the 10. Go back to the list again, please. Hold on. Um... Going up, keep going. Drake, where would Drake be in yours? He's high. Yeah. He's high in mine. Oh, no. He's high in mine because do you know what it is? People can say Top he sings ever. and does whatever. Top Brother. three ever. Wait, who's Top there? Five Top three. Okay, is he? Are you? Are you? You're not putting him ahead of Jay. No. Are you putting him ahead of Nas? No. Are you putting him ahead of? Why not? I don't think nothing can touch your mind. Yeah, Drake does not have an album. He does not have a one of them ones. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have an um, Illmatic. No, at don't all. do that. I don't even know most people with an Illmatic. Illmatic is ridiculous. Even Stillmatic is ridiculous. You know when you guys spoke about like who can drop three? Yeah. Consecutively. What do you mean? Three, three what? albums. Incredible mm. albums. Yeah. Yeah. No, I said that. But that was with Mitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. No, I did. Okay, I don't, well, I don't, okay. Well, okay, fair enough. Anyway, look, uh, yeah, anyway. Go back to where, where's, where are you putting, where would you put him? I hate the fact that you still came back to me, I tried to avoid it. I don't know, man, I don't know, it's hard, isn't it? Would you put him above Little Wayne? Say these things with your chest. 
Dri- Drizzy at rapping? Yes. No, because the era that Wayne came through at rapping, he excited me more than um, Drake. But it doesn't mean that Drake ain't hard. Drake is cold. But so little at, Wayne this, at he... this point in time, it's looking like Drake doesn't make your top five. Does, do you put Drake ahead of DMX? No. Um, see? See, this is the thing. We're all saying, oh, we're putting him high. We're putting him high. But you're not doing that. Think about it. What do you mean, think about it? You're doing too much, by the think way. About it, DMX, oh, think about it. DMX. Think about it. Are you sure? Because I can go on... DMX... I can rapping, your, rap, brother. But don't do that, Drake. Let's not do that. No, man. Drake is ridiculous. Right. But you know what it is for me. Yeah, you know when I know you're inspired by something, like, and that's had such a huge impact. You're not inspired by one song or a verse or a sixteen. I know you're insp- like, I've come on, man. Um, keep Drake going. got tunes that he samples DMX. Yeah. Um, number six more is more from a nigga. G, keep going. I'm just trying keep to back going. DMX, keep man. Going. I can't believe. Do you know what it is? I'm back in DMX because he's twenty. Would you put Would you put Drake above Eminem? Eminem's fine. Yes, yeah, I would. I would definitely. Eminem's um, a good rapper, but not my type of rapper. Yeah. Would you put Drake above Tupac? Um, for for rapping ability. Yeah. No, just rapper. No. All right. Um, I still going. play changes today. Nas. Ah. Huh? You can still play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's too play much Tupac music you can stuff, play today. Um, Nas is free, and then Nas is ridiculous. Kendrick Lamar. This surprised me. To Kendrick Lamar's to. And then Jay is one. Jay is my favorite rapper of all time for me. Is he? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He's Jay-Z not my favorite, but I know he's the best though. Jay Z is for me. I know he's the best for me. Jay Z for me is number one for me. But um, he wasn't cool enough for me. He wasn't, he wasn't cool swaggy enough for, enough for me. Nah, he was more like boss. I'm gonna play something. Like Jay Z is ridiculous, but you know what it was? It was just because I was. My older cousins loved Jay Z and they dressed like Jay Z, but then I was a massive Dipset fan. Like okay. I loved Cameron and I loved Jewel Santana, and it breaks my heart that years later that they know we're on this list. And they might be. Jewel, yeah, further up Cameron, you have to find Cameron. But Jewel Santana, he has one album. Wait, where the fuck is it? From me to you, that I cared about. After that, you see this. You see this. I'm gonna play you something. Yeah. Go to. You see when you hear this. Ghostface is twenty one. Goes for 21. I thought that was Dizzy just there. 22, sorry. Oh, 22. You see when you hear this Go in on. an arena as well. Yeah. But also that the lyrics on top of this too.
I like I know Jay Z's cold. He's cold, but like every minute I make more, I'm like, oh. and he has great ways of saying it, and he's the best. But yeah, like some, sometimes weird, that man. can be some people's downfall. Actually, going back to Fifty, that was a bit element of his downfall. I think, like he at a point, and you talked about this before. You know, we was talking about Central C and that, and like at one point, everyone just used to talk about how good you were, and then people started bringing in their accol- accolades. 50 was so on doing that. When 50 came in now, he was doing all the gangster shit and whatever, but as soon as he sold what he sold, his thing was immediately, by default, I'm better than you because I sold at X amount. And it changed so much. Because no one, maybe Jay, maybe Jay was doing that, but 50 was so heavy on that, pulling up receipts. I remember back in the day, he used to constantly pull up receipts. This per- <laughs> It was like, um, you know when people come out with the with the paperwork? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he was on. He was on no, paperwork. No, but everyone stuff. was on that, man. When no. I bought the Source magazine, bro, bro everyone was, was telling bro. you how much they sold first week. How, like, that was always 50 happening. 50 was so on that, bro. Yeah. And be- this was 20 years ago. Like, yeah, mm. Source magazine, some people were... People have been doing that since then, but 50 was screaming this from the rooftop. And look, he sold a... He went diamond with that. Yeah. I don't even think there's much people that's ever gone diamond in life. Shaggy. Well, then you got there. right then. <laughs> But he was no, doing right. a lot of that. So then, and then it almost, it was weird because it's like, when he came up with his next album, he still did a mad amount. But it was like, people started using that against him now. Cause they're like, well, you didn't even sell the same as what you sold before. And he's never really been able to do that. But I just think that like, when you are that scorching hot, it's, it's you're, you're a bit too close in terms of thumbnails, bro. Um, you, you, when you sell, when you are that scorching hot, you, there's, you can't elevate from that. And there's a weird one. I hear where you're coming from. There's a from. weird thing with it because it's like, the sick thing with 50 is that he's been able to sustain and he's still here. And there's a younger generation who weren't around when Get Rich or Die Trying was out. So they didn't experience how flipping scorching hot this song was. was. But do you know what? They know that he's a rapper and they know that he does TV shows and they know that he's a part of stuff and they see him on Instagram and he's thriving. He's doing whatever it is that he's doing, yeah? But... It's a weird one. It's like, do you do you prefer to like have that moment when you're like this scorching hot and then your trajectory after that is just going downhill? Or would you prefer to be the artist that like is always on a bit of an incline? I'd prefer to be 50 Cent. Right. If you're using 50 Cent as the example, I'd prefer to be 50, 50 Cent because you're starting at Diamond. So the fall from grace there is not that bad. It's, it's true, isn't it? Like if it's just one time platinum, yeah. all right, maybe I want to be on the trajectory. But if when you're off diamond, that's like 10 mil sold at an era where people actually bought music and it wasn't streamed. Yeah. You're talking about the fall from grace there is mad. You, you saw what G-Unit done at the end after that. Man went and done G-Unit sneakers, <coughs> man done water. <coughs> they and didn't the thing slap is, though. Huh? The G-Unit sneakers were shit. But they sold, bro. They sold out. It doesn't yeah. matter what I say. That's true. They sold out. And he always tells you about his achievements through his music. Even mm. when he sold out the water in I Get Money, he told you. Oh yeah, shit, yeah. He made Coca-Cola when I bought it for, what the fuck, have yeah. a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire, I write a check until the baby come. Who the fuck cares? I'm stinking rich. I'm a die trying to spend this yeah, shit. Sell signs up yeah, in yeah. this bitch, yeah. 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 He's always had some, he's always had some wavy tunes still. I love it. I love all that shit, man. I love 50 Cent. I'd rather be 50 Cent. I think he's an individual that he has so much character. He don't give a shit. He goes at anyone. Jay Z. I see him call Diddy. He told Diddy by the other side of the bread. He just he went on stage with French Montana when French Montana was like him and French Montana were in beef. At, I think it was Super Jam or, or whatever. Summer Jam, Summer. Summer Jam, sorry. And then at Summer Jam, and then Fifty Cent just comes on stage while French has got his set, starts dancing, and French can't do shit. Yeah, no. And I'm just like, that, that, like you know that Fifty is the epitome. The epitome of bad boyism. Hundred like, percent. Man can't really like everyone can be touched, but I feel like he has a different thing. He's a, a man rude can't boy. just yeah yeah. yeah. Like, Have you seen the guys he hangs around with? Well, I can only imagine. They, brother, there's about fifty of them. They're all going to the gym. But it's do you know what? It's not even just them, ah, man, bro. Man. It's the man that you're that you that have respect for you on the roads more than anything. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like, hundred. Being respected on the street is a whole different thing because these man security and that his security are probably different type of security and have their own affiliations when it comes to the streets. But mm. obviously, if you're a big man, like. Look, what, what, what's D Double's lyrics where he says, I um, think you're a big boy because you've got a beard. Bullets will make your face look weird. weird. 
And that's the truth. You understand 100%. what I'm saying? Like, it's sad though. <laughs> 50's journey though, sorry to stop you, when I was, I was thinking about the trajectory because you're right, he did come down, but I'm like, loads of the moments where it could have got madder, people just let him down, man. Like game, him and game, when they done this is how we do. That must have been like 2006. Yeah. I remember because I used to go to like Cork's Wine Bar, Kojo's Comedy Funhouse. That song was on rotation. Everyone loved it. And then you take a look at Hey Did I Love It? Like they had classics and you take a look at where Game and 50 are now. They couldn't be more further from each other. Yeah. I feel like if he still had the same people in and around him, you could say it for a lot. Even Jiggerman. Jiggerman's the tra- trajectory is so crazy. But I'm like, what does Jay-Z look like with Dame Dash beside him? If Dame Dash was saying, and all of them other elements of Kanye and being, I think it's even bigger than it is now. But maybe, maybe it's not. not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe that's what yeah. he had to do in order to get there. But then, even if that's what you had to do in order to you to get there, I wish you maintained the relationship because then you could all. Mm. Do you know what I'm coming from? Yeah, like be yeah. on a bigger pedestal, which could take you the next mile. I think because that works both ways, though. They would have to both be okay with of what's course. happened, and obviously. Dame wasn't okay with it and it seemed like Jay was uh, okay with Dame not being okay. Um, all right, boom. Flipping, before we even move on to some other shit, yeah? Might as well stay with music quickly. XXX10... Uh, how do you say his name? Tenacian. T- yeah, Tenacian or whatever. T- yeah. So basically, he was shot 2018. Um, there's four people on... Well, three people technically on trial. Um, and yeah, like it just started the other day, right? So what's happened is now, for people who don't know, boom, he got shot outside um, a motorbike shop. He was in the motorbike shop or whatever. Two men have jumped out on in out of out of a tinted whip, whatnot. Tried to rob him, or they did rob him, and then they've shot him. Yeah. Now the case. Did you see the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. he fighting back? Um. So in the actual video, yeah. you don't see him fighting back, but the guy that he was with which was his mum's friend, testified and talked about like what was happening. So he's saying that, rah, when the man them jumped, jumped out of the car, yeah. um, the first thing, like they was like, yo, give me give me your jewellery. That's what they were saying, give me your jewellery. Um, X is saying to them, like, what is this for? Like, what is it for kind of thing? And they're trying to tug on the thing. Yeah. The guy's got out of the car and he's run out of the car. Like, so he's pressed the thing, the, the, the door's gone up and then he's run out. As he's run out, the other Don, because there's two of them, yeah? There's two that's jumped out. The Avedon has run round to the um, passenger seat. So one's standing outside the driver's seat with the, with the strap, but he's still in there trying to get the thing. The other one's in the passenger seat and they're clearly trying to grab some shit. Now he's got um, a pouch. You know, like you have them LV yeah, yeah, bags, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. He I had 50 it. bags in there. He actually went to the... Um, Bank beforehand to withdraw it. I saw that. He went, he went to drew, withdraw 200 bags. Yeah. yeah. They didn't have 200 bags in there. They've given him 50. Then he was going to come back for the other 150. He's just gone to go and see what he was, he was going to go and buy a bunch of bikes or whatever. So anyway, now they've actually taken the pouch and I think they might have taken the jewelry or whatnot. The, uh, one thing that seems a bit unclear is that one of the guys steps back just before they're about to run off. He steps back almost as though something's happening and he shoots him. Yeah. They jump in a whip and, and have gone. There's four of them all together. Yeah. But this is where it's interesting. You know you can only see three. The reason why you can only see the, f- the only see three of them, why do you think you can only see three? Because the other ones testifying against these mates. No way. Right. So that's where it get, gets interesting. So the other one, the fourth one, he's pleaded guilty to second degree murder, and in um, his deal, he has to testify against these three brothers. These three brothers are saying they weren't there. It got nothing to do with them. The the friend has just testified. He testified just yesterday. I think he's going to be on the stand a couple of times and he's breaking down what's happened. So what's happened now is um, one of them know a girl that's rented a whip. Rented a whip. And there's like, there's a, a service in LA, you might know it here, where you can, I think you could kind of do it here. I don't know if you could do it here, but you can rent a car from a person. So let's just say- Yeah, like, yeah, I do, I do know it. I do know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, do yeah, that yeah, out there yeah. like quite a lot, right? Um, I, don't, I know about it over here. Oh, they, they do it here, yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. So, yeah, basically, they've rented a car from... The girl's rented a car for, um, from someone and given it to one of the brothers, but she's don't know nothing about anything. They're just saying, like... They just knew today we're going to go out and we're just going to rob someone. They weren't planning on robbing my man. They just was like, yo, we've got some straps, we've got masks, whatever. We're just going to rob someone. So they got the car for a day. They're driving around or whatnot. Boom, they've seen this... Um, they've seen the BMW... Yes. 
they've seen a BMW, you don't really see, like, instantly you know this is a nice car, who's in this car. He's got blue hair as well, so they knew one of the dons was like, yo, that's X or whatnot. I think two of them didn't even know who that, who he was, but was one of them was like, yeah, look, he, this is him, they showed the Instagram or whatever, and then, yeah, then they've basically lined him up. But the bet, like, the friend now, basically just giving the, the details of exactly what's happened. Now, here where Drake's come involved, yeah, when they've, when, um, when the prosecution, the prosecutor, like they, everyone has to give an opening statement of what, to the jury of what they're going to see. So the prosecutor will be like, yo, jury, this is what we, we're gonna, we're gonna prove to you that these four or these three were there and we're gonna show you X, Y, and Z. And we're gonna, we're gonna be able to prove that they go, that they were in this place doing what they were doing. The defense team are basically on a vibe of, you know what, she ain't proving shit. Like, mm. these men weren't there. Anyway, when it was time for one of them to come out, they're saying that um, X went on social media and had told people, if, if anyone died. was ever going to kill me, it was going to be Drake. I remember that. So, yeah, so do I. So he's saying, no one didn't do any, like, the police dropped the ball. Like, there was a school shooting that happened in and around the time that this happened. So I think it was either a couple of days before. Yeah, it was a couple of days before there was some big school shooting and it was big news. Yeah. So obviously the police have got their hands full with the, the shooting or whatever. It's big news and all of that type of shit, yeah? They've been given this and someone's given them information about these guys, but they haven't looked into everything that's around it. So he's basically saying, yo... You can't prove that these guys are here and you ain't even done your due diligence anyway. You ain't, you ain't um, like gone to all your leads. When Drake came out and when he came out and said, if anyone was going to kill me, it was going to be Drake. Did anyone sit and have a conversation with him? People should be, this is something that should be brought to the table. Like that's a, that, that could have been seen as a real threat because he died. So that's how that shit, that's why... That's why he said that, basically. Uh, Drake's cool. Ain't that yeah, Drake, that's not going to happen. I mean, the reality is, is that... They have to go down. I've seen all the pictures of them with the money. Yeah, they went straight on social media, my G. With the money. They went straight on social media with the money. And you know I'm biased. What country is XX from? But is he Jamaican, by the way? He is, Come isn't on, he? I can smell it. it Maybe, because you know the guy that it's he Jamaican, was with? Man. The guy that he was with, yeah? yeah? The mum's friend, anyway. He's a yard man. When I was listening to him testifying, yeah, and telling him what was happening, he's, like, his patrol was really strong. But he was saying, like, yeah, man, it, it sounded so mad, bro. I mean, obviously, we see the footage, yeah, but, like, to be jumped out on like that and being bamboozled like that two men with straps and that and like it's like these men could have taken it and just gone walked with it. away bro they could have just gone with it they didn't even need to do that do you know what i mean they just didn't even need to do that they went and then they just they shot the butter like in front of bare people like because the guy that's testifying as well he's saying that um he's saying to one of them nah let's not do it here because there's bare cameras like where there's where he's about to come out from there's bare cameras we should allow it then one of them said, yo, are you scared? Then the brother was like, nah, I ain't scared. The other one was like, well, he's like, you scared? He's like, nah, I ain't scared. So I, well, then let's fucking do it then. A man jumped out and did it. I would have been like, I'm smart. <laughs> it's a difference. Right. It's a bit of a difference. But that's the thing, isn't it? When the streets thing and that, it's like, everyone's trying to prove something to each other. You know what probably happened? They probably wasn't even looking to duppy anyone. Maybe this one done for if someone, I might let it off. But the other three might have just been thinking, you know, we're just going to go and rub someone and, and you know what I mean? And then shit gets so real, bro. You go and you do it, adrenaline is through the roof. And then before you know it, a man's head's gone. Bye, 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 bye. And you think, whoa, that wasn't part of the move. <laughs> that wasn't part of the move. Now I'm standing next to a man that just duppied somebody. I thought we were just robbing my man. And you could have robbed him and run away. And you could have robbed him and run away. You could have got that money Ultimately, that's not like these youths, yeah. I mean, this whole thing is so much deeper than them. Like, there's a there's so many elements to this, yeah. But mm. just from a surface, from the surface element of it, it's like fifty bags between four men it's and pathetic. a life. Well, do, do you know what it is though? I can't even say that's perfect. Do you know what the cost of living in the states? Different. To them, it's worth it. To them that might be it. rent paid for for the next six months, or I don't know, or I don't even know, bro. I just know America. Hardship is mad. 
Could you imagine, like, as well, them man must have been kicking themselves when they realised, right, he was supposed to go back for it and have a 150. These men got 50. If we would have just left it and we would have got him a little bit later, we would have got 200 bags. And maybe somewhere in their mind, they would have fucking, I don't know, they would have been able to just do what they did and, and hold that L because they might have said, boy, you know what? 60 bags, 50 bags or whatever between us, 50 bags between us or whatever, you know what? I can do that. I can park that off and it just is what it is, even though I think it's a, a mad mentality to have. But I can't, I, I don't live their life. Do you get what I'm saying? But 50 bags between four men and a whole life? Fucking heck, bruv. It's mad. But these things happen all the time. You see these, these things happen here where youths will go out and they might go to rob someone's phone. Four men have gone to go and rob my man's phone. Mm -hmm. This Don's taking it too far. Nank the brother now. And then all of a sudden it's like everyone's, we're all complicit now because we were always looking to rob him, but we weren't looking to do that. And then now this person's died. It's mad. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine, bro. It lets you know, like, for example, every day you should have an objective, Cam. My objective is to get money. And if your objective was to get money, then XX would still be rapping now. And yeah. I'm not saying you should rob. I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just like, you lot had no objective when you were doing this. It's almost like you wanted attention. And that's a lot of society. Because if it was just you wanted the money, why has it got to be on social media? Why you got to do it in front of everybody? Mm. Why you got to make this massive show of this situation? Dude, they went on social media like the, that same day. The same, I'm talking, when X died, my phone went off. Everyone knows I'm a bit of an X fan. My phone went off. So when I've seen it, it's on social media in seconds. And then when I f found out that their man were posting, I think it's the next day or the same day, I'm like, Bro, the guy died, the details of what got taken off him and everything was on social media within an hour. Why would you go and show everything the next day? I don't get it. It's a sickness, bro. It's a sickness. That's a sickness. My brothers, man, I ask for God to forgive you, dog. I ask for prayer and love because you're lost. Talking about sickness, I'm sure you saw the flipping footage of the that black girl that was getting roughed up by them white girls, the, the travellers. Do you see that? All right, so allegedly, the girl attacked them, then they've come back and retaliated, and then they've gone to the house. Who's as you're saying them? Start, just like, explain say, it. Say, 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 say black, black girl, girl and travellers. has attacked the travellers. The black girl. This is what they're saying. The black yeah. girls attacked the travellers. Right. Travellers have come back with reinforcements. Right. So then the black people come back with real reinforcements to your door. Can is I, that can right? I, can I be honest with you? Can I be honest, yeah? Go on. For, these were my first thoughts when I watched this footage, yeah? Mm -hmm. When I watched the footage, my first thoughts was, it makes me sick that people could, like, big adults as well, yeah, could just watch this and just leave this to just happen. Like, I just think they're just nuts. Even when the teacher came, I think when the, the teacher came right at the end, didn't it? And like, the teacher's just very nonchalant, like, yeah, let go of the head. Like, it's like, what the fuck's going on? These are, like, these are actually really scrapping. Keep yes, girls, they're, but they're scrapping and they're pulling hair out and whatever. My second thought was that um, this does look like, this does look like um, something's happened. It looks like, because the, the way that the mums come, you know, like the mums come on a thing of like, is that her kind of vibe? Is yeah. that her? Go and get her then, yeah? Now, I'm a man who's like lived in a certain area and been around a lot of travelers. I know how this thing works. I know how, I know how not all, cause I don't, I haven't spoken to them all and I haven't encountered all. But I do, I will tell you this, travelers at a time in my area were very much known for fisty cuffs. They're on smoke. To, to bits, smoke. yeah? Say something to one of the young but See, like, one of the youths, them. Because this this used to always happen as well. I sort of be playing football or whatever, and then you'd get, like, a six-year-old just hovering around. And it's like, where's your parents, brother? Like, mm. you can't come round here. Like, move. He wants to come and play and do what he's doing or whatever. Then you might just say, oh, like, move or whatnot. Next minute now, <laughs> it's, it's 18, man. And 18, they're not all trying to punch men up. They're on a vibe of who's what, who's the who's saying what. Okay. It's gonna be you versus him in the circle. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. And now, nah, before you know it, you're in a fucking one on one with a travel. And whoever jumps in, it's a two on two, three on three. They're not always on the like Russian man type thing. Which I guess in some in some elements you can say 
it's kind of respectable still because they are on a afterwards is it over let's carry on with life let's carry on with life I if it's not over though tell me now it's not over and we'll, we keep going yeah. they're on that so when I've seen I this, like that when, yeah. I like that a lot shout when, out to travellers man when I've seen this I've seen like obviously it looked like something had happened mm. and the mum's come there with the youths or whatever and they're on some smoke with the girl but whether the girl whatever the girl did or whatever happened or whatever that situation is yeah this stinks it just shouldn't happen and you know you would like to feel that even as a parent yeah you handle that in a completely different con in a different way but sometimes not all when they when you come from a certain environment and that's the type of thing that they're on you can't even be surprised they the mum's going to come back and the mum is going to have the youths do whatever the youths need to do and if they are getting if the youths are getting badded up then the mum's going to jump in and the mum would have done that you know you know the mum would have yeah, done that yeah but like that's, I used to do like I said I've done youth work in the past it's, yeah. it's disgusting and when situations arrive like that because a parent has come down and said they're going to do something to the child I just, you have to take control of the situation I grab the youth I put him in a safe space I shut the door I then inform I phone that person's parents and then I say to the other parent look I'm not here to tell you what's going to happen or what you're going to do. Okay. Outside of my grounds. Right. In my workspace, you can't do that. Because as much as you have a responsibility to be a parent to your children, I have a responsibility to protect these children in my workspace. 100. So outside of this, do what you want. Do what you've got to do. But whilst we're here, between the hours of one and six o'clock, darling, you're not going to do anything. And if you do, I've got to phone the police. This right. is just my protocol at work. It's yeah, not, yeah. I, you could be in the right. <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, luckily for myself, more time they're understandable because I'm not trying to be part of the problem. I don't, like, it's not that. I just don't want no war, man. Like, just let's just be cool. Uh -huh. I just don't feel, like you said in, uh, earlier, that teacher had that same type of intent. No. And I and, think that's and the school, second, the second, do you know the, the video footage of the other teacher yeah. where they were surrounding him or whatever? So they were surrounding the teacher. Yeah, there was well, like obviously these lot, the man them and that came down there and they wanted answers. They wanted to know. Oh, what man them came into the school? Yeah, they came there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't see there. that. Yeah, they came there. They pulled up the next day, bro. How much man? Bear them. Black bear people. But it wasn't just feels it was just right. man, it was like obviously just concerned black people. Like, that yo, feels right. What's to me, happening? Though. And that I think they right. spoke to the girl as well. And the, the girl and the parents was like, look, whatever you do, don't go there and bad anyone up or anything like that. Because I remember them saying that, look, like when it started to get a little bit, the frustration was heightening. Someone did kind of sort of level it and say, look, little sis said, remember what she said. She said she didn't want us to come here and carry on a certain type of way or whatever. So let's remember that. But they're like surrounding the teacher and they're asking for answers or whatever. And the teacher's trying to speak, but he's not saying the right things and it's agitating people, yeah? I kind of reposted it. I said it stinks. And the reason why I said it stinks, yeah, is because you see this teacher, the woman asked, what are you going to do to protect these children going forward? And he's giving politician answers, bro. He's not saying, he just kept saying, oh, you know, the police are doing an investigation. Yeah, we hear all of that. We know. We know that the police are doing an investigation. But going forward, what are you going to do as a teacher to make sure that the, these kids are safe within school? Well, you know, we, we've got a meeting with the police. We know that you're doing that. But we want to know, as a head teacher, what are you doing? Bruv, my man's not giving no answers. But what do you And me? then, and then, he's like, he's on a vibe of, I can't speak. Like, I'm trying to speak, but I can't speak. And it's like, I, I hear what you're trying to do, yeah? But the opening sentence is always from the wrong place. We don't want to hear that there's an investigation because we know that there's an investigation. Like, we know that there's that bit. But see, tomorrow, like, my school wasn't perfect. I'll tell you that now. My school was not perfect. And my school had a lot of problems. But I will say this, yeah? If there was something like this that was happening in school, boom, assembly straight away. There's oh yeah, assembly, yeah, yeah, There's an assembly and there's something's happening. There has to be some type of change. There's something, there's going to be some some type of change. And maybe Mr. Jones, we had a teacher called Mr. Jones. You know, everyone has the strictest teacher in the school, yeah? Mr. Jones would have been coming there with his face red, screaming and shouting up and down the place, if anything, to make sure that like, yo, like, you know, you can't be carrying on with this type of fuckery, basically. And I'm sure that Mr. Jones, if this would have happened in my school, would have had something to say on like what he would have done even if he wasn't going to, even if he was just talking in that moment, I'm going to do this and tomorrow he felt differently. Like, you know, 
But to, to talk about, well, there's an investigation. Big man, we know there's an investigation. What are you doing in the school, Maji? I think from, when I think about teaching, because I understand where you're coming from, I fully agree as well. Like, what are you telling me about the police investigation for? That the police are not in the school now. What are you going to do to protect these, these young people here? Um, I'll say this, Chucks. Um, when I look at my, te- like, you know, my school experience, I can say, I went to DNK, 60% of my teachers are shit. I can mm. say their names if you like. They were terrible teachers. Mm. Because people believe, and I get it, because I've now seen how this country works, no one has people skills. People have the skills you need to have within the work facility, but the biggest thing you don't seem to understand is you're interacting with people. So you're better off having great people skills and having minimal information in here. Because if you have maximum information but no people skills, all you are is a computer. A computer can't talk to no one, but it's got bags of information in it. I just think people that are teachers, people that work in as an ice cream man, people that are police officers, people that got a job in Marks and Sparks. In training, there should be some type of people skills situation because all like i said all you've got is the skill set how to translate that to people you seem to fail every single time politicians don't have people skills no the people that are meant to have people skills are so far from people they don't know how to interact with them but they have the information and i think that's the problem with this whole country in that school that's 100 percent the problem when i saw the <coughs> way the head teacher walked away, walked over he didn't walk over with a sense of authority. Urgency. You see it like, for example, in football. Football's always great. When I see fo- referees walk over to an incident, I always want to see how the referee's going to approach it. And I used to love Kalina. Kalina was the best, bullheaded. He walked over, bullheaded Italian guy, he used to be on Pro Evo. And you knew we've got a situation. <laughs> I don't even know why. It's the way he looked at you and he was always called the game smiling. But when he switched... Hmm. That didn't happen there. The teacher walked over, eyes cool, as if to say there was no issues, no violence, no nothing. That teacher shouldn't be a teacher for me. I'm sure he has the knowledge and skill, yeah. but in terms of when things go shit, cause is that how you're activating? Yeah. And then you have another day, cause you got a whole 24 hours to figure out what you're gonna do. 24 hours later, parents are coming to you, asking you questions yeah, yeah. and you don't have the answers. Okay, yeah. So maybe I'm being too nice to you. You don't even have the information. What do you, what are you here for? Just to teach history? You Big know, man, that will be history soon. You know what the deep thing is now? Now I'm about to get mad deep with it very quick. Is that the next unfortunate situation is, <clears throat> is the teachers are striking and the teachers are striking because their wage is not tallying with with inflation, yeah? So they're being paid, the teachers ain't get, don't get paid that much money for the work that they do. Okay. So already now, like, people are not even being inspired to be teachers because it, it involves so much work, yeah? And yeah, it is rewarded, but they're not even getting paid for it. So it's it's going to be so difficult to find the person who, one, has the people skills, two, actually has the desire, like, to actually teach children and do that from a rewarding place. Yeah, that's right. And then, um, three, to put up with the bullshit. Some people will look at that and say, hold on, wait, one second, so... Some of these, these are some of the things that happen in school. These are the hours that I got to work and this is what I got to get paid. Nah, okay. sir. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, sir. Forget about that. Forget about that. So it gets, so the problems can become even worse. Like it could get, it could, be, it could become even worse. But Chucky, Unless you go ju- to private school. Just and not everyone's you, got the bread for that. Exactly. But just so as to cut you, but just because you've got the skill set don't mean you can do the job. Facts. And that's what people need to understand. Just because you've got the skill set, it don't mean you can do the job. There are people that are qualified managers in football. They have the skill set. They Probably can't do the job. job yeah. People skills is about 70% of what you do in yeah. your job. 70%. Your information is about 30. You can learn information along the way. It's very difficult to learn people skills along the way because mm-hmm. you're interacting at the time and you can make mistakes which could fuck up everything. Mm-hmm. If you don't have the knowledge, hey, Chucky, how do I do that? Right. Oh, thank you, brother. Uh, EA, you see when you, how do you do that? Oh, sweet. People skills, learn information. People skills though, that's, why hasn't that happened? You now have to tell me why that hasn't happened. Mm. If you don't, if you've never been in that situation before, if you've never had to interact with somebody of that level of aggression, you're going to go to what you think is right, but you don't know the end result of what you think. Mm. So then sometimes like that teacher, you just go very quiet. Because in that way, 
there can't be no problems for you per se. Mm. No, they can, my brother. If you walk over and you do the right thing, hey, whoa, excuse me, did you bring your daughter down here to fight this student here? I think we need to have a meeting tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going to have to expel your daughter. If this is what you're doing, we're going to have to get you and your family out of this school. All of a sudden, the mum is like, but you know what she done? Now we're having a discussion. <laughs> yeah. All right, no, pull it apart, pull it apart. I'll phone the police. This is not happening in my school. Mm. All of a sudden, the students are like, yeah, that's my teacher. Right. <laughs> when you walk over and yeah. you're moving, like two people are arguing about whether Michael Owen's better than Robbie Fowler. Like yeah. this is a, Chucky said it best, it stinks. Yeah, it's a stinker. It's a big stinker. Um, Take control, man. Take la- control. Last thing quickly, yeah. Mm. And obviously not to even be like, but I've got to bring this up. You saw the um, the earthquake in Turkey, right? Bro. Brother, you know, I was like really deep in this because speaking to someone and um, and then she said to me, oh, like, because she lives in Cyprus, right? On the bush out to her. And um, she was saying, yeah, like, imagine I flipping woke up, yeah? And like, I woke up to just bare things shaking or whatever. And she couldn't get back to sleep. Then she was like, oh, um... She's obviously woken up and then realised that there was an earthquake in Turkey, yeah? And and then it was like, at that point, it had been like a few hundred people had died or some shit like that. But when I heard, when she'd mentioned that to me, I thought, oh shit, that is mad. But like, right, I just I went on with my day, in it. Then I'm hearing again, oh, like 600 people died. And I thought, right, this thing's kind of mad. At these times I say, it's no image, no nothing or whatever, yeah? <clears throat> people were posting it, but I was having a busy day. <clears throat> then I'm like listening to the radio station and they're saying like, you know, um, 5,000 people are dead and whatnot. And that's when I actually started to really deep it, yeah? So far, at the moment I've, of recording this, they're saying over 21,000 people have died. I'm seeing footage, yeah, of... And we. this is the thing that we don't actually usually deep when we hear these things. Do you understand how insane it must be to just be chilling here right now and everything starts uncontrollably shaking. Do you know how insane that is? Like, just the, even the mere thought of that is a nut, like a literal nightmare. And then to a whole city shake like this, like literally, yeah, what well, they're saying 22,000, over 22,000, a whole city shake like that. And it's like, when you look at how deep that is, like, it's not just shaking, like things are falling. And things are falling on people or on top of the houses or whatever. Like, I'm seeing people literally underneath rubble and they're fine. You know, like, there's, like, there's some people that are, like, they're just kind of stuck and you can see their head or whatever. And it's like, do you know how cl- the, the level of claustrophobic, like, what's not claustrophobic, but there must be another word of saying it. But it's like, it must be claustrophobic. It's like, you can't even move. And it's a big bit of brick that is on top of you. And this is, this is, like, the reality of thousands of people right now. It's in, it's heartbreaking. I saw video footage of um, someone taking out a three month year old baby from a rubble that had been underneath there for three days. It's like- And she had a piece of mum's hair in her hand. That's all it's mad. It's so bro. sad. It's That's so right. sad. And Turkey's not that far. You know that? Like obviously it's far in the grand scheme of like, can't drive there like that, that. But it's like, on a flight, it's not even really that, that far. It's like. When I'm hearing about earthquakes, usually I hear about them happening in like in that region of China or maybe even the Caribbean because you know that that happens a lot over there. Even in Very LA, much. you know that they're like... Uh, Mitch uh, was there for an earthquake in LA. Really? Yeah, for a slight one, he was. Yeah, see, like, it's 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 horrific, man, but like... What causes an earthquake again? What happens? It's yeah, and it's under, the, it's under the water. Sometimes, Sometimes it's under the water. Yeah, That's I'm what causes gonna, tsunamis. I'm going to show you the yeah, so show me is them. there any way that they can find a way like so sometimes is- what happens is see like with a tsunami for for example yeah yeah you have these plates under it's like an earth what do they call it like an earthquake underneath the water or some shit like that and it moves the plates so the plate moves like that like it moves under the water and then it causes either it causes everything to shake or the water then starts pulling back once the water pulls back naturally it's going to come forward Ooh, when it comes it's forward fall on a it mad thing Show me, show me what the plates, what what so plates these, look like. These lines, yeah. Say, talk loud. These lines represent the tectonic plates, essentially. Got a, so where you, so if you look um, over here, this area here. Like, go like that, so I can, so people so can see. So here, right here, see the yeah. Arabian plate. Yeah. 
So Turkey is about around here, innit? Turkey and Syria, they're on the plate. But if like you, you know, we're talking about LA, innit? Yeah. Literally, this is LA. Bro. So they, there's that's where the Caribbean this, ones are. Yeah, this is right this there. Is LA, yeah. yeah. This is why that that LA is always having its. So right them there. little lines they represent where you could potentially have an earthquake. Earthquake, yeah. yeah. So, so look right, it's right over the Car- see the Caribbean there, yeah, so and that's where like and right and Haiti have them regular. They have on a regular. But Haiti's on the line, literally. literally yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you type in on Google animal behavior before earthquakes? I'm just animal, gonna go. Animal, oh, that's interesting. I'm just gonna go left a little bit and then come back. Birds though, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've got a video. What, how, how accurate birds... it is, is yeah. I don't know. But there's a video of birds going nuts in Turkey before the earthquake. I'm talking nuts. So, uh, can birds, can animals uh, predict earthquakes? The earliest reference we we have to usual animal behave, unusual animal behavior prior to a significant earthquake is from Greece in what well, 20 273 bc how the fuck Blood did they know that Clark. 373 bc sorry there must have um, been some what they say what rats snakes and centipedes so doing what um reportedly left their homes and headed for, and headed for headed for safety several days before a destructive earthquake no way even yeah. the rat said, you know what, big man, I'm out. Yeah, the rat said, fuck All that. All right, cool. Go to my Twitter quickly and go take a look at the video. I want you and Chuck to see it. Animals speak. Dr. Doolittle. Yeah, if you could listen to animals speak, they'd say, yo, big man, I don't know what you're going to do, but you need to get, like, we need to move. So what is happening here? What we're looking at, it says, in Turkey, strange behaviour was... Oh, you got out of it. Uh, strange behaviour was observed in birds... Just before the earthquake. So the bird them you can, as what me and Chucky are looking at, is the bird them tweeting excessively uh, towards the evening time and flying about frantically. And it's not like... And then loud. They're loud. They're really chatting. They're like, yo, big man! So... That is so interesting. It's Maybe there's a, a conversation. I don't know, obviously. I just saw this and thought, maybe we could potentially take a look at the places where you know there's going to be earthquakes and I'm not saying study it every single time, but the moment that there is behavior which is not recognizable from animals, I'm not saying we all venture out, but is there any way you could find out if you looked at the plates, how close they're getting, or surely yeah, there's I mean, a, there must be a way that they can, because 22,000, is it 22,000 deaths? Yeah. My brother, my when, when, was, when was that, the day before or on the night? That's as it was the day before. Do you know what the baddest thing is though? Irrespective of that, yeah. Mm irrespective of that it's like for so many people where do you go like, but at least that, that's the that's for the country to figure out a solution I'm not here figuring out the solution but Jesus right. Christ at least if you know there's an awareness that something's going to happen the one place you can go is outside your bloody house because that's where the earthquake is going to kill you the most if you're in like a flapping I don't know seven yeah, story like house you bro. gotta find um, you gotta find like super open space of like course. super super open space I've always been you know like when people say oh like they have these um, like in their house they have like like that lower ground part in their yard and that just in case it's like a bunker that shit terrifies the fucking shit out of me because I'm like imagine going down in the bunker and then something like that does happen and then a big piece of wood I mean a ceiling whatever just lands on that I can't get out of that like do you know what there's so much different elements to this that I can't even I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. You know, I watched this this earthquake thing and, you know, I've spoken to a few people that are Turkish that are, you know, are, are like directly affected by it. And it's like, I can't help but think about like it from a deep perspective of how mad this actually, like an earthquake actually really is. It is in the idea of being, tra- forget being trapped. The idea of the floor shaking to me is is bro to me is insane it's insane and it, and you don't even know it's not even like you can get to it like you don't know where it, like the, everything's shaking that's my and that's the reasons why i would love to find out a solution because you know what in every situation we speak about in this podcast there's a solution mm. and we discuss them yeah and we've try and get there if there's an earthquake there's there's 
There's my. That's the one it. time my picnic can look at me and say, "Dad, what did we do?" And I'll look at them and say, "I, I don't know. Have a. I don't know." No. And I just think, Jesus Christ, man, if animals are out here potentially predicting that there's going to be an unfor- unfortunate incident, it, I'm not saying it saves all the death, but 22,000 people losing their life to natural disaster yeah, is so sad. mad. It's so sad. It's so sad. Um, shout out Alhan. I see the good work he's doing. Yeah. Shout out Colin Kazim Richards. I see the good work he's doing. Um, shout out the good people in Hornsey. There was a drop-off place where you yeah. can go and do um, drop off any clothes or so on and so forth there was another place in Tottenham N15 so shout out to good people in the community that are really definitely coming together at such a bad time definitely. and trying to help it's so nice on a level that you may consider day to day in a shop and then on a level such as Alhan Colin Kazim over in Turkey itself mm. he kicks ball over there there's a footballer that apparently got found but I'm hearing from Colin he's still not found yeah. Christian Atsu that used to play for Chelsea so pfft. Yeah, man. And condolences to anyone that's like directly affected or even indirectly affected by that as well. 100, man. 100%. Howlers, my G. Grab my phone. This is not a job I like to do. I feel like I should change it because howlers is just becoming too harsh and people are upset. I don't want people to be upset. I want us to change. But cheating is something that you have to... There's an art to cheating, I think. There's an art. I don't think it's for everyone. I don't encourage it. I don't say you should cheat. But if you're going to do it, you need to understand there is nothing in life more detrimental and more dangerous than a woman's scorn. Oh, Women are the biggest detectives in the world. Why do you say that? Now, myself and Chucky discussed something with EA Sports a couple of weeks ago involving a footballer for Barcelona, Gerald Pique. He used to play for Manchester United a period of time. Flew back to Barcelona to continue his career. And what a career he's had until the end. Where at first he's accused of sleeping with his teammate's mum, Gabby, 17 years old. Uh, Pique is about 35, 36. So his mum's quite young. Sprucey, I hear. And Gerard Pique is a footballer. But that rumour comes out. How true it is, we don't know. But we do know he cheated. We know he cheated because Shakira came back and saw that jam had been eaten. And just like I said here three, four weeks ago, Gerald PK doesn't eat jam. So at that point, she said, you must be cheating. Now, Gerald PK, you you, you know, when you you split up, you think, all right, my girl's going to move out. And I guess I've got to get a new house or, you know, some empty bedrooms. But do you ever imagine the girl saying, no, I'm moving house. I'm moving the whole house. Put it on the screen if you like. Oh my God. Yes, PK, you're having a howler. Shakira has not only moved out from the place that she lived in Gerald PK's country, She's Spain. Moved She's moved the house. The whole house is moving. <laughs> this stinks. <laughs> PK, what was you doing? Shakira's just gone on a tour. Wherever, whenever, we're meant to be together. No, you ain't. PK, man, if you're going to cheat outside of the house. Big man. This is rookie mistakes, my brother. You're cheating and you're bringing the girl back into your house and you're sharing the jam. The jam. Oi, do you know how gangster that is? Too gangster, Fuck that, I'm taking the yard. (laughs) she took the whole house how do you drive around like how does that fit on a road where was she going with that do you know what she was probably putting that yard on a boat and then taking it somewhere to a a whole different country that is fucking that's gangster I'm telling you from the moment you're taking your cutlery back in there and that <laughs> if I ever cheated on my girl and she took the cutlery back, <laughs> I said, darling, you're going too far, man. <coughs> the they got house. an IKEA next to your new house. What's the going house? on? That is wavy. I respect it. All right, so the next howler is where I'm going to end. But I don't know if it's a howler. It's more put it to the world and see what everyone else thinks. Because as you know, I'm very protective over my friends. Hmm. I love my people, them. And I love creative art. I love ideas. And I hate capitalism. I've realised that from the hmm. podcast we've done here, I'm very much against it, but I understand it needs to be here. Hmm. But it shouldn't happen within a circle of group of individuals that have seen an emerging scene grow and how difficult it is for you to think of an idea that could potentially be profitable for you and allow you to, within the world of, I guess, uh, 
capitalism, upscale and progress within financially so you can have a good life. What do I mean by this? Ideas are things that we think of in order for us to make content out of us and then progress. Competition is good, but it shouldn't be the same idea. It should be a similar idea which allows competition. Yeah. For example, Wolves made a football team. I don't think another person goes, I want to make the exact same football team and still their players. I want to make a football team my own identity. Cool. We're going to get there. I do apologise for how long it takes me to get there. Specs, Gonzalez and Tigo have got a show. It's called uh, What If Blackburn Signs Zidane? Right. Now, for as long as people may have known in it, known about it, might just be online, might be YouTube. I get that. But on BBC Sounds, they have done this show for a lot longer than it's actually been on YouTube. So they've been around for a little while doing this show. And the whole concept of the show is that somebody can't... Uh, if, what if Blackburn signs Zidane is like, what happens from that moment forth in football? Right. So they've done that with loads of different scenarios. There's an individual. I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to say somebody recently got a Spotify deal for a similar deal, for a similar idea. No, actually the same idea. Now, I was told that before the deal came about, he's had this idea for a year. Someone else told me that he had it from the summer. Now, I haven't got enough time in my day of beautiful things to go and figure out what which one story is true. I just, I get feelings. I could be wrong, but that doesn't feel right. For someone to use an idea or a concept that someone else has done, it doesn't feel right and then go and get a Spotify deal out of it and then claim that they've done it when because I'm saying Specs done his first if you're saying it's not a problem then you're saying Specs copied them but where we're from we don't do that is this who the Don is? and okay. that's all I'm saying you can have the Don on the screen I don't because he looks like a nice guy Brother, I think I met him once upon a time he's a nice guy I saw this yeah and do you know what I thought this was <laughs> There's a documentary on Spotify about no. There's a documentary on Netflix about Spotify. Not a documentary. It's a it's a actual like it's a series. There's a mm. series like a drama series, mm. and it's about how Spotify was created. I thought it was. I was thinking, why are people posting this? Because it looks like the advert for that. But anyway, so that okay. didn't make me happy per se. That's just not things that I like. I believe right. that. And it's not, do you know what it is? He might be unaware. I don't know. Me and a couple, someone was speaking about it. I don't want to say, because I don't want to bait up their operation, but yeah, we're, I'm I gonna think... going to put this on the screen, by the way. Yeah, you're going to post this on the screen? No. no, no. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, because this, at the end of the no. day, he's got a family, he's got yeah, to do yeah, his yeah, thing. Yeah. And I'm not trying to, but I'm just saying, for me personally, Stinky. it doesn't feel right. And I will never, ever be happy with an individual copying something, because people's excuses for copying are pathetic. I don't like it. It's just not me. I'm a like I'm a creative by the pure. I don't even want to say creative. I'm just poet in it. And poet likes to make stuff to give people opportunities so we can all go. Mm -hmm. Loads of people do that. Tigo and Specs are thought of an idea which allows them to be on BBC Sounds doing their thing. Look at that. Look, can you see it? Copyright infringement. Like I'm not the only person that thinks it, bro. Mm. So I'm not happy with my bridgings being copied because I know how hard and I know how much work they've put into what they do and they deserve everything they get out of it. So more shout out to Tigo. More shout out yeah, to Specs. I love you lot. Come More on. than you know. Incredible, incredible duo. Um, and make sure you watch No Rules as well. Um, there's another thing that's happened. Another one of my friends is J2K. He is somebody that I admire. I look up to him heavily. He's like an older cousin that I never had, but I had older cousins. Strong. But he just wasn't one of them. Strong. So essentially what I'm saying is correct. Right. Maybe the older brother I never had. He has a, uh, a brand called uh, It's a Home. And we've done several collaborations together with them with Vibba. And he has the ability to create environments which are incredible. So if you wanted to put on a show tomorrow, say a brand like, I don't know, Nike wanted to do an event tomorrow in a space. JQK, J2K could make that space like incredible. Once he's given the right prompt and so on and so forth, he can do set designs. He can do parties. He can make, like you see Hyphenate right now with a trainer. You know what J2K does and you know about him, his brand is at home. So when I see someone making a brand called home sweet home providing the same services i'm not saying <laughs> oh my god you've copied i'm saying it doesn't smell right it doesn't feel right with me yeah. i know who jason is i know who j2k is i would imagine a lot of people know who he is mm. especially when i see that this brand is working with adidas i know j2k is heavy associated with adidas mm. so that doesn't feel right to yeah me. i hear you Again, I'm not trying to get at anyone. No, I'm just you. saying my brethren's work very hard to it create just doesn't the ideas. Smell right. It just doesn't feel right. And the last one is someone's copied Filthy Fellas again. Again? And I say again because we get copied so much for 
everything. But as of recent, as you know, the Genius T girl thought of a concept called Filthy at Five. Everyone sits at a table and we discuss various different issues. Drafts, okay, I'm not. We're not going to claim the drafts thing. Yeah, yeah. People do drafts, even though they won't do it before Filthy Fellas. No problem. But things like subject matters when you're talking about this. It's too much. So what, this does, it, does it all look the same in that as well? Like people sitting around the table? People sitting around the table, discuss it's it. shot kind of like similar. So I'm just saying this, people. Inspiration is a beautiful thing. Yeah. I was inspired heavily by Dame Dash and Jay-Z. Yeah. To the point where I had a WWF game where I made a whole group called Rockefeller. Dame Dash and Jay-Z were the number one wrestlers. I had, I even had Emil. If yeah. you're old enough to remember Emil, she had that album as well. I had every Brother, that's inspiration. To copy something, cause it's 2023. It's mad. We start the year with the intent of creating what we want to create. Not what we want to create off the back of looking at somebody else and just taking the thing. Be inspired by something is different. Inspiration is different. I made a crew off the back of seeing a crew. We're not called Rockefeller. We don't make rap music. We just do a completely different thing mm. because it's inspiration. I like the metrics behind it. What needs to stop happening is straight up copying. Yeah, definitely. And do you know what? This is what I was going to say as well, yeah? Is if you're inspired by what someone's done and you're going to do almost a replica of what that person has done, for me, that first episode or that first thing that you do has to be about an honourable shout to who inspired you. It has to be that. That way, it, for me, if I'm going to do something that I've seen someone else do, boy, better know, when this time, like when I'm doing it, I'm just saying, yeah, boom, I saw... Like when, even when I said, um, sometimes I come in now and I say, you know what? I noticed that um, 30, 37% of our subscribers are not watching, yeah? Um, and I've talked about that a lot. So if you are following and you haven't subscribed, what? because I want to try and get it down to a certain percentage. 20, you said. Uh, yeah, 20%. I saw Steven say that. So the first time I said it, I said, I saw Steven say this. I saw him say it and I thought it was sick. I um, want to do the same right, thing. Exactly. I think it's I'm not going to sit here and pretend because I'm like, I, I, when I heard him saying, I thought, oh yeah, that's kind of like that makes that's sense. interesting. Then I went, it made me go and look at our stats, and I was like, okay, well this is good. We got like the majority of the people that watch are our subscribers, but we got 37 percent that ain't, and obviously people that are like constantly coming in, like whatever else. Let's try and see if we could like narrow that down as small as possible. But you know and what? I was that's inspired cool. by that. That's like medicine for a sick child. Yeah. If I have my youths. And Chucky, you have a you, and I'm like, boy, my chicken, my child, my child has got a, a cold. What would you recommend? And you give me something that you're taking, you're giving to your child. Yeah. I don't look at it as copying you, and I'm using the same medicine. I look at it as this is the right thing to do for yeah. this one desired task, such as calling out for people to come. And you still went and paid um, homage. I respect that. Right. What's happening here is you. There is nothing teeth. to look after. Yeah, you're creating teeth. something to look after by teeth and another man's concept. <laughs> Dennis, if you love teeth that much, Dennis, they still got jobs yeah. and it's paid well. <laughs> I just I'm gonna like that type of do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, honourable shout out to the it filthy fellas. Feel right. It doesn't feel right. Shout out J2K, shout out Tigo and Specs, and yeah, shout out man. everybody that's doing real content because nothing's original. No. But we can make an attempt to try and make it our own twist. When you're just tech, 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 tech. Jesus. Yeah, Christ, it stinks, man. Listen, tech way yourself, anyway, I gotta fly because we might have things to do. Are you coming to the skating thing later? I'm going to gym first. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you to everyone that's been following Vibar for how long. Thank you for everyone that's been showing the love. I can't even. The amount of love Vibar's got recently is mad to me, bro. We went from sixty-one thousand listeners to ninety-three thousand listeners in two months. I don't know how that's happened on Spotify. Right. Thank you to everyone. Now I gotta go, Jim. All right, say that. All right, thanks for listening, everyone. Yeah, love. Sorry.